organs, skin is the largest organ of the integumentary system and its main task is to protect the underlying tissues. It consists of two different sections, the epidermis, that is the outer layer, and the dermis, that is an inner layer. The line of demarcation between the two layers follows a wavy pattern, whereas the outer surface is straight. The epidermis is a squamous epithelial tissue composed of keratinocytes. It is divided into four different types, which are formed as cells created in the basal layer mature and migrate towards the surface. The dermis lies below the dermo-epidermal junction. The dermis confers elasticity, thickness, and buoyancy to the skin thanks to its microarchitecture composed of a fibrous texture mainly consisting of collagen and elastin immersed in an amorphous hyaluronic acid-based structure. These fibrous and amorphous structures of the dermis are synthesized by specific cells called fibroblasts. The basal cells replicate via mitosis and as they move towards the surface, they change, giving rise to the spinous layer, then to the granular layer, and finally to the stratum corneum, the outer surface mainly consisting of dead cells organized in multiple layers. The chemoexfoliation, peeling, is a medical procedure mainly based on the use of organic acids, which are able to create histological and ultra-structural changes of the skin, thereby leading to renewal of the epidermis and remodeling of the dermis. Chemoexfoliation is therefore suitable to treat various skin problems and diseases. Chemoexfoliation can operate at different structural levels of the skin and can therefore be defined as very superficial, involving the stratum corneum, superficial, involving the living epidermis, medium, involving the papillary dermis, and deep, involving the reticular dermis. The chemoexfoliant activity of an organic acid may be intensified by the number of layers of solution applied and by the time of contact with the skin before neutralization and or rinsing off. Now, let's try to understand what acid means. According to the bromstedt lowry theory, an acid is a substance which is able to donate H plus ions, protons, to another chemical species called base. Organic acids are characterized by the presence of the carboxyl group COOH, which is the portion of the molecule able to release the H plus proton. The strength of an acid thus depends on the ease with which in an aqueous system the proton is released by the carboxyl group and is expressed by the pKa value, which is the logarithmic form of the acid dissociation constant. The higher the acid potential of a molecule, the lower the value of pKa and the more easily the proton is therefore released. In order to understand in depth how an organic acid behaves in an aqueous solution, we must consider the two electrochemical variables, that is proton concentration and mobility. The concentration of protons is measured by the pH. The lower the pH, the higher the concentration of protons, and therefore the greater the acidity of the system. The mobility of protons, that is the speed at which they move in an aqueous system, was outlined by Grothes and describes the way in which the protons released by the acid jump from one molecule of water to another, thereby forming the unstable hydronium ion. What happens when you dilute the aqueous solution of an acid? Dilution increases the pH due to a decrease in concentration of protons. At the same time, the mobility of protons, and so their speed, increases. Now, let's look at the skin in terms of water content. The skin is mainly composed of water and its concentration increases as you move from the surface layer down into the dermis. So when the aqueous solution of an acid is applied and absorbed into the skin, it is diluted. Organic acids, however, are polar substances and their absorption into the skin is therefore far from uniform. In fact, the stratum corneum represents a polar barrier that can cause an uneven absorption of compounds that have a polar form. 
The process of chemoexfoliation induced by an acid causes a controlled insult to the skin, together with the removal of old cell and fibrous structures. As a result, the epidermis is renewed and the dermal microarchitecture is remodeled. This effect mainly depends on the nature of the acid, the homogeneity of its absorption, the concentration of protons, and their mobility within the aqueous component of the skin. But the chemoexfoliation obtained using a simple aqueous solution of an organic acid is characterized by an important restrictive effect. The intensity of the surface trauma is not proportional to the acid's ability to renew the epidermis and to remodel the dermis. The superficial trauma caused by a simple aqueous solution of an organic acid applied to the skin depends on the non-homogeneous absorption of the solution, the high concentration of protons, and their high mobility in the original solution. The concentration and mobility values are already at their highest levels. The result is that the relationship between the trauma and the chemoexfoliation efficiency is skewed towards irritation rather than towards skin renewal and remodeling. And these are the reasons why innovation is required. Interpure technology, a technology providing a more effective and efficient chemoexfoliation process regardless of the type of chemoexfoliation agent used. Interpill technology provides a greater and more uniform absorption of the acid, at the same time reducing the proton mobility in the original solution and enabling proton activation in the skin, that is, in the living epidermis and in the dermal matrix where protons interact with the water heroin contained. In this way, it is possible to achieve a more efficient chemoexfoliation thanks to the ability to control the dynamic activation of the proton at the various skin levels, stratum corneum, living epidermis, dermis, acting in a targeted, effective, and efficient way on the cell and protein structures that characterize them. The ability to control the dynamic activation of the proton when interacting with increasing amounts of water is the basis for an efficient chemoexfoliation with reduced superficial trauma. Inipil range consists of a series of products and medical devices designed for chemoexfoliation. Inipil products are made with different acids and used for the treatment of several skin diseases, problems, and areas. Inipil products can be used separately or in combination according to specific protocols. Interpure products have been developed in order to ensure a practical, safe, and accurate chemoexfoliation procedure. Each Interpeel device contains a predefined dose of chemoexfoliating solution and includes a complete set of accessories required for the preparation of the skin, the chemoexfoliation treatment, and neutralization. Thanks to the vial brush and visco magic systems, the solutions gels they contain can be easily and precisely dosed thereby ensuring a simple and accurate chemoexfoliation. The Vial Brush System Protective aluminum covers contain five vials, kits, joined together by the head and the midsection. Each vial, which contains the exfoliating agents Glytone by Interpeel, is branded a graduate scale to allow the user to monitor at any time of the procedure the quantity of acidic substances applied on the skin. The vials are resealable and they can be used later on for the same patient. A single-use brush applicator is applied to the vials and with its optimal size and quantity of bristles, it guarantees a precise and even application of the several chemical exfoliation agents. The Visco Magic System Inner peel, eye and lip monophasic gel designed for the area around eyes and lips is contained in a special pen with a soft nylon applicator head which enables an accurate application of the exfoliating gel. You simply need to turn the body of the Visco Magic container in an anti-clockwise direction in order to bring a drop of the gel onto the applicator then carefully apply the product onto the skin. Interpeel chemoexfoliation is easy and accurate and is divided into three simple steps. 1. Skin preparation with delipidating wipes. 2. Application of the chemoexfoliating solution. 
Three, neutralization with specific arginine wipes carried out with inner peel technology. Inner peel is a broad and complete line dedicated to the exfoliation of several areas of the epidermis and for the treatment of skin conditions. Inner peel technology, the future of chemo exfoliation.